Hey guys, I want to start this vlog by talking about yesterday's vlog because in yesterday's vlog I was talking about the unconditional basic income if you can remember and there was a comment on YouTube I want to talk about right now because what I basically said was if I'm sick or if I don't like my work I would stop working if I would receive the unconditional basic income anyway and the comment about this was the following. That Networks writes, so you'd reduce your hours and take sick days. Sounds reasonable to me. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. To be sick and to reduce your working hours and to stay at home, that sounds perfectly reasonable from an individual-like point of view. But the problem is, I would say this is exactly the problem. That the unconditional basic income goes to the individual level and says, hey, you will receive some money and you'll be free. And that sounds very good for everybody who doesn't want to be free. Everybody wants to be free. The problem is the all overall level. If everybody would do it, if everybody would reduce their working hours, if everybody would just leave if he doesn't like the job anymore, then the whole productivity of the whole country would go down. And that's exactly the problem of the unconditional basic income, because if overall product productivity goes down, people are working less, then maybe prices would rise or uh, everything like the productivity compared to this country in all the other countries surrounding this country would go up. That's only logical. So, the problem would be everything from this country would be more expensive, everything from the other countries would be less expensive. So, imports would rise, exports would go down. And that's the declaration of bankruptcy in the long run, I would say. That's the whole problem about the unconditional basic income. It would lead to bankruptcy in the long run. That's an extreme end point somewhere but that's the direction where it would go and first of all the life standard would also go down because people people would work less there would be less goods and services to buy and the life standard would go down dramatically so those are the things which probably would happen if there was an unconditional basic income probably if everything would happen in the past is right, if logic is right, and if not this time it is totally different, could be, it never was, but always when people said this time it's totally different, it wasn't, but maybe it is this time totally different, could be. I want to be surprised, but until then I'm very skeptical about the unconditional basic income. All right. So much uh, to tell about yesterday's vlog, let's go to Helmut. Helmut? Helmut's place to work on Patreon for change. Use my free day. Hopefully I can keep my uh, sickness away. Mm -hmm. Working on Patreon for change, what I've done is, or what we've done is, we've put out the new vlog for change. Check it out, it's on my channel. Or if you like Patreon for change on Facebook, book, you can also see it. Because we are also having this vlog where we are documenting our process of the social startup we are building up here with Patreon for change. And I think there are some useful information uh, they are to find also in this vlog for other people to build up their startup. Then we've shared all of this over our channels, over Facebook, over Twitter, 
and so on. So basically social media strategy today, marketing today and for me a little hanging out. It's just <laughs> lower in energy today. Then I've looked through the funding programs of the city and wanted to see if we fit somewhere in there. But I actually didn't find too much unfortunately. So still no funding and no money coming in for Patron for Change. Too bad. Okay, getting the car from the Museum of Economics out of the garage into the car elevator.